All right, let's take a look at this in terms of like, let's ignore everything that's not uh, of the culture or whatever. No jumper, 49. Going up, drink champs at forty three. Okay, that should just tell you everything you need to know right there. Drink champs at forty three. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah you sure. know, shout out to Logan Paul. He's at forty. Not to be exactly fair, in the I want to say drink champs would probably be higher if they like were more consistent with their output. Hey, I'm gonna be real with you too. Like, I'm kind of curious about the the terms that a lot of this was based on. Like, yeah. in terms of like what actually counts, because from my perspective. Joe Budden at 35 and a million dollars worth of game. I consider the Joe Budden podcast to be like dramatically bigger than a million dollars worth of game. No shots at Gillian Wallow, but from my perspective, I would think so. But I mean, this this says that I they're like neck and neck. Though. I mean, a look on million dollar yeah, yeah. game, a million dollars worth of game is like a definitely a good look. Like, but I, yeah. I don't know. I just think of the Joe Budden podcast as like what I just said about us on the West Coast. I considered the Joe Budden podcast to be that on the East Coast and also kind of nationally, just in terms of like really helping to drive the narrative. So what's yeah. math? What, what's where, where does math pod fit into that equation? Not. Terribly well. Uh, I, I fuck with math, but do you think that him being left off the complex uh, top 25 was like out of pocket, or do you think it was somewhat reasonable? <laughs> There was definitely podcasts on that list that I think math is ahead of, I but do I don't too. think it's like some massive omission, and I don't think we've heard anybody really bitching and crying about math not being on it. Now, say cheese, I think them not being on it is a criminal offense. Yeah, that, that sure. to me, demolishes the purpose of that entire Dude, list. they have a podcast, though. Who? Because Say Cheese is just interviews. It's not the list really was I, consider, I consider Say Cheese a podcast, even yeah. if it's it primarily a, YouTube. Yeah. But it wasn't a podcast list. It was, it was hip-hop media. Yeah, hip-hop media. Oh, let's just this finish this podcast. out. Because that might be kind of like it for hip-hop, right? Joe uh, Budden and... Uh, media? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, no, nah, Say Cheese for yeah. sure. Everything else on this is... The Breakfast Club, oh, 22. Where, where's Breakfast Club? Right there, 22. Oh, 22, The Breakfast Club. See, that's interesting, too. This. Because so much of The Breakfast Club, like, if you were to look at The Breakfast Club's numbers, they'd probably be, like, pretty close to, like, us or a uh, million dollars worth of game or whatever. Like, it's probably not that they're different. Like the OGs, but they're on the radio, and they're, yeah. you know, they're on TV and shit, so, like, I was gonna but say but that definitely like contributes to why they're big. I just yeah. don't know like how they calculate this. I'm assuming this refers to, since it says Edison Research is the website, I'm assuming this refers to cross-platform views. Club, like total. It has to be. Club yeah. Shay Shay. But you, you know what? Even beyond that, it's like if you really wanted to get a real look at like who's the biggest, you'd have to include like short form on platforms you don't even know right. or you don't even own. Like if you have a fucking TikTok that gets 100 million views, it might not benefit you in any way besides exposure, but that's still like very much like your content reaching a huge audience. I, I find it weird that there's some of these like Joe Rogan experience I watch all the time. Daily, I, I listen to like every day. Crime Junkie. Never even heard of it. No clue. I should probably check it out. I've heard of it. It's probably some crazy shit. It's like a, be, it's, it's A and E if it were a podcast. And you're telling you know, me like Dateline it. NBC is a podcast? Again, no clue. Like thought it was a TV uh, show. Uh, yeah, uh, that, uh, that shows how desperate they are to stay relevant. But look at Club Shay Shay soaring from like nothing last year to 11th place now. Now, granted, like that's on the back of some gigantic interviews. I was about and, to say he came who, out swinging. Yeah, who knows if anybody's yeah. going to be able to really like replicate that in the long term? But I mean, I'm gonna be real with you. Every single time I see No Jumper on here, I'm just like, what the fuck? Like, how are we actually in league with all these podcasts that I think of as being like way bigger than us? Well, it's dope that we, you know, we just creeped up on to the 49th, and I'm hopefully we gonna continue to rise and see how it go because you know, I feel like if it's based on the type of content that I watch. I, I actually still watch No Jumper and No Jumper adjacent, like Flacco's, for example. Well, look at this. Shit, then this more than I do almost The anything. list ranks podcasts based on total audience reach from the Edison podcast metrics. Interviews were conducted continuously throughout the quarter in English and Spanish. Rankings are based on listening over the full period. All respondents reported listening to podcasts in the last week. So they're actually polling people on this. So that's not... It's not oh the only podcast measurement service that measures listening, not downloads across all network shows and platforms. Is that kind of what I said? Like, this could be something to really dig into because uh, it's probably pretty fucking interesting. And they do this like every quarter. And from what I understand, I, I think we are not on this one. No, which we're is on like, the newest one. We yeah, weren't the, on the last one, but Q two. Yeah, we hit so forty nine. 
No, this is 49. I probably just clicked on the. Yeah, this is the same one as the other one. But either way, it's a fucking kind of bizarre. So it's an honor, though, honestly. Shout out to anybody who listens to us because that's, that's pretty sick. I, th I thought it was dope. Yeah.